Uh, someone commented on my video about how to remove the door handle and I asked him if he wants me to make a video about it. Um, removing the door handle with the, well actually he asked about the key chamber, how to remove the key chamber, but he never replied to me. So I thought, you know, for argument's sake, I'll make the video anyway. Um, so the only way I can see this, because I've already looked at it, is uh, removing an 8mm bolt from this inside here to, to remove that there. You're going to have to put some tape on your, you have to put some tape on your socket, just so it stuck, sticks in, otherwise it's going to drop down when you try to remove it. That'll allow you to then bring this up, but you can you can't take it any further out. Not that I can see here anyway. So it looks to me I'll have to remove the actuator first to unclip the wire to that or the little bar to that, that's so I can take it out from the top there. That's the only thing I can see at the moment. Hopefully, one. Hopefully, I'll find a better way in the process right now remove I know this is an easy job I'm not going to undo any wires or anything here I'm just going to undo the bar and just let the actuator fall down a little bit no biggie Okay, so they're both loose now. See that? <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that. I've got the sun on me and I can't really see what's on the screen. But that's all loose there now, so we'll get to the other side. A bit of luck. <clears throat> this will come out. That little blue cover comes off. And it almost wants to come out. There we go. That's what I mean. If you can see that, it's kind of like twisting in such a way you can't get that out. You can't take it from there. If they had the little yellow clip there, you could unclip it and take it out. It's probably easy. But it's all that, got that funny twist to it. Okay, so putting it back in. Let's see if that's... Goes that way. So putting it back in, so it goes that way. Definitely be a lot easier if that bar wasn't in there. And to get that in and out from the other side, nah, so I wouldn't have the room to do it anyway. So it needs to go right on that far twist which would be past the door to try and get that out, so it's not possible, you have to do it here. I'm just having a bit of a look because it has to be some easier way, like a certain angle or something that you get it in. Things don't normally take that hard. Things aren't normally that hard to get in and out if you know the correct angle. All oh, that's in there. I'll try to take it back here. Okay. Kind of like this here. Look at that angle there, see? I don't know if you can see that, but seems to be a sweet spot like that there. Get this corner here, or that bit of the key chamber there, past, and then you go in. I'll put that blue cover back on in a second. That can be the last thing to go on because you only need to open up the handle. To do that. Okay, so I'll take that back here and remove this handle. Now, if I 
on the back. Okay. Easy enough to change. You just gotta make the effort of taking the door trim off to undo the actuator. So that's the hardest part about it. Uh, I do have um, a video of me taking the door trim off uh, if you want to watch that and how to take it off. Put that back on, put it in there. Slide it forward. now eh? I'm first gonna tighten this back up so just so that doesn't move around so I've still got that bolt stuck into that where is it in that direction there not too tight I'm only screwing into plastic so tight is tight Saturator back on these bars. Well, actually, the one bar that clips on can wait. <coughs> it's the other one that you're going to twist onto. That's a bit of a trick. It's actually not a hard job, just a fiddly job. Okay, now I'll put this other bar back on. and that's it now I can put the door trim back on I might as well do that right now beautiful right I probably forgot to mention to get access to the 8 mil bolt you have to remove that cover there okay these things here I find that get because you're supposed to be able to do it like that right and this one did but some of them, the tips break off. Or well, the tops break off, I mean. So I like to get underneath this next part, pop it from there, so you don't risk him to break them because they break really easy. So just put these back on. That wants to open the door. You can tell by the ends. again beautiful three on the bottom right well I hope that helps a few of you out with getting that uh, key chamber out and to get that blue color back on is the last step I guess that's real simple, just pull the door handle forward, put that on, that's not going to come out. As for the rest of the handles, that would be really easy because you only have to do that one 8mm bolt and take that part out, slide the handle back, pull it out. It's only the driver's door that has that key chamber, why this one's the most challenging of all. But watching this video, you'd know how to change the rest. Okay, till next time guys, cheers.